Hello everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here, and today welcome to another Bionicle mock vlog, kind of, sort of, in terms of we're doing something kind of related to Bionicle. Today we will be looking at the Kanohi masks. So, as you can see before you, are six Kanohi masks. Not all of these are elemental, some of these are the Titans um, and other characters. But these are six custom painted masks. So I thought I'd, you know, um, talk about how I did them and, you know, how what I like, what I don't like about them. So we'll start off with this one the Mask of Regeneration, which is used by Toa Luminara. Its power is that essentially it can regenerate wounds. So rather than repairing, uh, Mechanical equipment, this can help prepare injured comrades um, in biological wounds. So it's quite useful. Um, it can't, like, deal with poison, necessarily, um, but it can handle simple wounds. Um, in terms of how I did it, I just thought, you know, Tower of Light, so gold and silver. So I did that, and then I... I think I dry brushed the gold bit here with some very bright gold. I, I think I started at Ux Copper, then I dry brushed it with gold, kind of just to give it a bit of depth. And then sort of the flames I did in silver, but then I edged them in white to kind of give them that edge um, of light. And then also threw a bit of brighter silver on there and gold as well, just kind of to get a kind of a real flame shimmering effect. Uh, and transition of colours, which I think I um, succeeded in. So I'm pretty happy with this one. This one looks oops, looks very good. Um, next one is I haven't come up with a name. It's the same. Ma it's the mask of mechanics or mask of engineering, mask of crafting. It's Furiosa's mask, except you know a bit more. Appropriate. I really like this mask. Basically, I took a bolt mask and I thought, let's beat the shit out of it. Let's make it look really worn and really beaten. Um, and this here is the result. And I'm pretty pleased. I like the scar on the eye and just kind of the general worn and tattered nature. I used a bit of uh, green stuff here and there to kind of get some real texturing and distortion on the metal. Um, so it looks very good and very sort of worn and beaten, and it really fits with Furiosa, certainly more than the standard bulk mask. I'm very pleased with this. It looks just so gorgeous and just so organic and realistic. Um, this here is, of course, the Huna, but it's an Aqua Huna. Uh, so this is for Totorena, and, you know, it does Huna things. Uh, I thought, yeah... Dark blue and silver is a solid colour scheme, so I went with that. And so I did just a standard coat of a regular blue, and then I washed it kind of with a blue ink, kind of to give it a bit of depth and a bit of energy. Um, and kind of did a few washes with it, and then just standard silver on top, on all the sort of the raised areas to kind of give it, almost make it like a Bane mask or like a. Oops, like a scuba diver mask. So I really like this one. Um, this is, of course, the Akaku. The Akaku? Uh, the mask of telekinesis, we know it. Uh, you know, or Orcom has a green Akaku, or whatever this is, from uh, Metronui. And I thought, okay, I'll do that, but I'm going to make it a bit different. It kind of has almost war paint on it with those stripes down there. Essentially, I took a dark green, thought, okay, for the next sort of raised bit, I will do a sort of a medium green, which I did. And then I'll do an even brighter green. So it's all. it looks like it's got a lot of depth and energy when it's using a fairly simple colour scheme and a very simple dispersal pattern. But I really like it. Um... I think it looks really good and just very intimidating. This is one of my favourites. This is a corrupted Matatu. That's the one, Matatu. Um, 
you know, telekinesis, all that shebang, but it's corrupted, so, you know, even more powerful. Uh, essentially, just pretty simple coat of a dark paint of black, and then just put, you know, green in all the recesses that I thought it needed to be. It's very simple, but it works really well with my character, Lord Naradus. Um, it just looks so solid, so simple, but so solid as well. Really like it. And then finally, we have the Mask of Wrath, so Avacoli, and some orange feeding into some gun metal. And this was done for uh, to a jugger, and just looks really solid, um, really nice. Um, you know, the bright orange kind of feeds back into the gunmetal kind of blending it and has that very look of well of fury of charging energy um, the mask feels very aggressive and powerful um, which I think is good so I mean yeah that's that's about it there's not really much else to say on them they're just Kanohi masks but um, I've yeah just painted them pretty standard well not standard uh, just in a ways I like these paint schemes for the most part I think some of them could have been tidied up namely this one there are a few odd bits on there where color kind of shows through in an odd way um, maybe refine it on there maybe added maybe could have been a dark tone of gunmetal on this one I think it's um, lacking just a bit of blending and it looks it doesn't look quite right on Jagger. Maybe I should have switched the colours round and had gun metal at the base and then orange streaming. But I I don't know. It was a tough decision. Um but I'm still largely pleased with how they came out. Um and they all look fairly good on their characters, give them a very different um look to you know, how they look with their original masks, which is good. I mean, that's kind of what the masks are intended to do. Uh, so I think in that regard, I've been quite successful. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.